Okay, seventh grade art. I am going to be showing you today how to go over some of the worksheets in your packet. Since I will probably be back helping people at the potter's wheel. This is your first worksheet, Boxes in the Perspective. So the first thing you're going to do, identify the left and right side of each vertical line. The left side will line up with the left vanishing point. The right side will line up with the right vanishing point. Okay? And it, there might be some corrections you're going to need to make. So just be as patient with yourself as possible. Okay? So first thing I'm going to do is start this top vertical point, line up the left side with the left side vanishing point, move to the bottom of that box, line it up with the left vanishing point. You can draw the lines as far as you want it. That will all make a difference on how wide that side of your box is. I then connect two diagonal lines with a vertical line to make the end of that plane of the box. Now I'm going to move to the right side and line up to my right vanishing point. Start at the top of the vertical line, draw the first diagonal line towards my vanishing point, move the ruler to the bottom, draw that line to my right vanishing point. Notice I've just kind of disappeared in the air there because now I'm going to line up my ruler vertically. Make sure it's nice and straight to connect the two diagonal lines. Now I have the front side of a box, okay, I have the side, now I'm going to draw the bottom side of the box. Your vertical lines that are above, you will see the bottom of the box, like here. Your vertical lines that are in the middle, you will not see the bottom of the box. Your vertical lines that are on the bottom, you will see the top of the box. Okay, if you think about it, that's how you would see it in real life. All right, so now I need to draw the bottom of the box. This is where you're going to change. I'm on the right side, but I'm going to line up my ruler with the left vanishing point. Always draw your diagonal lines from the intersections of your lines. Line it up with the bottom corner or intersection of this box and draw my diagonal line. I've drawn it all the way to the vanishing point. Now line up the ruler with this bottom corner of the left side and line it up with the right side vanishing point. Now connect. The place where they have crossed over is where the plane of my box ends and I can erase my extra lines. Okay, so now you can see front, side, bottom. All right, you would do the same thing over here. Now, you can see this one is a little closer to your vanishing point. It doesn't matter. I'm still on the right side of my vertical line, I draw from the right side to the right vanishing point. Then the bottom of my vertical line to the right vanishing point. Now I connect two diagonal lines with a vertical line. Left side of my vertical line to my left vanishing point, diagonal, move the ruler down. Bottom of the vertical point to the left side of my vanishing point. Draw my next diagonal line. I now need to decide, do I want this to be a tall skinny box? If I do, I would draw the vertical line closer to my other vertical line. If I want it to be a wider box, I draw the vertical line farther away. Erase your extra lines. I now need to draw the bottom part of the box. So I will line up the right side corner to the left side vanishing point and draw a diagonal line. I will line up the left corner to the right vanishing point and draw my diagonal line. Now you can see top, side, bottom. Erase the extra lines. Moving on now to these center ones. I'm going to do just the center one. Okay. Right side, right vanishing point. Line it up, line it up. Draw a vertical line. Left side, left vanishing point. Draw, draw, and connect. For this area, all you will see is this box because it's like a box that is sitting directly in front of you. You can't see the top or the bottom because it's directly in front of you. Okay, now I'm going to show you the bottom 
vertical lines. This is probably the one people had the most difficulty with. Bottom, right, right, vanishing point, diagonal, rotate, diagonal, and vertical, connecting the diagonal lines. Left side of my vertical line, left vanishing point, diagonal line, diagonal line, front of the box, vertical line. Top of the box, because this is the box underneath me, so I see the top, I do not see the bottom. Whereas these ones, I see the bottom, I do not see the top. Now I am going to, again, crisscross. So the corner that is on the right side of my box lines up with the left vanishing point. The corner that is on my left side of my box lines up with the right vanishing point. Top of the box, side of the box, front of the box, side of the box. And erase your extra line so it looks like a cube. Okay? You do the same thing here, even though this looks kind of strange. Okay? Right side, right vanishing point, diagonal line, diagonal line, vertical line, left side, left vanishing point, And now, for this part, I'm going to draw an imaginary vanishing point, okay? Because this one is so low down, you can see it's directly in front of your vanishing point, you're just not really going to see anything. So I've created another vanishing point that I now line up the left side with. And vertical line. Now line up the right side with my left side, okay, just like this. If you get kind of confused, you can erase all other box areas, okay? So again, the same thing here, left side, left side. Vertical line, right side, right side, right side, right side, vertical line. That's all I see for that one. Erase your extra areas. Okay? So, you should be able to see cubes in different areas. Okay? Um, the only other one you might have a hard time with is the right one here. So, Again, lining those two up with my vanishing point, drawing my vertical line here, okay? And then, because this is on the end, we are going to draw the front part of the box simply flat. So two horizontal lines and connect them, okay? And that is how you can do that box on the end. And it still looks like a cube. We just have only utilized the one vanishing point, all right? Should look like cubes floating at different levels in the sky.